Sometimes things are not impossible. They just haven't been done. It was with that mindset that I decided to challenge the status quo and apply to the top three mechanical engineering program in the country, to which I actually ended up being accepted to. As a result, I have to move from that small town to the fifth largest city in the country with a population of over a million people. All of that I had to do at a very young age. I was only 15 years old. Therefore, it was very difficult for me to adapt, not only to the new environment, but also to the more difficult academic challenges. I started to get comfortable and adapted to that environment. Then during my senior year, as many as you will do already did, I started wondering what to do next. What am I going to do after graduation? What jobs am I going to apply to? Where I may end up? I come across an old friend who had just returned from the US of doing an exchange program. In addition to that, he tells me that upon his graduation from his bachelor, he's going to go back to the US to start his master's. To that, I said, must be really expensive, both the exchange program and the master's. Then he replied, not really. You see, for the exchange program, you get paying tuition at your home university. And then for the master's, I'm getting an assistantship from one of the faculty members at the university. That day, I decided to apply to the exchange program for the following year. After two months of working for my professor, he offers me the opportunity to work more time for him in exchange for some compensation, which at the time turned out to be enough for me to pay for my personal expenses. Towards the end of the program, my professor offers me the opportunity to continue doing research with him, but now as a master's student. To that, I immediately accept, submit all the application paperwork, then went back to Colombia, got my bachelor's degree, and returned to the US. I work in the oil and gas industry, especially in the energy service side. My job is to come out with innovative technologies and products with two main goals. Number one is reduce the risk for our customers, and number two is maximize their production. I should mention that the oil and gas industry has one of the largest, if not the largest, time to market, meaning the time from when you conceive an idea all the way from what that product idea is commercially successful is about 30 years, compared to seven years in consumer products, and even less for some IT projects. If you add to that, the fact that the oil and gas industry has been historically reluctant to change, and in addition to that, it's a very conservative industry, make our job in the energy service extremely difficult. How have we tackled those challenges? How have we introduced those new changes into the industry? The easiest way is you develop those technologies and those products with your customer. But that's not always the case. First, you identify an early adapter customer. Second, you set up a strong support base of your technology at the locations where those technologies will be deployed. Third, you strengthen the technical foundation of, of your technology, meaning technical publications, industry awards, patents, case studies, etc. And finally, most importantly, you make sure that your technology is deployed very successful, especially at the early beginnings, because that will strengthen the reputation of your technology. And as a result, it will bring more customers on board. Today, I have shared with you many of my life experiences that have served me very well on the personal side, but also on the professional side. There are three things that I would like you to take with you. Number one, always challenge the status quo. Things are not impossible. They just haven't been done. Number two, get out of your comfort zone. Always seek for new challenges and opportunities. Then finally, embrace change. If there's one certain thing in both life and in any industry, is that there will be change. Therefore, always be in the forefront of change. Thank you.